All right, so if you want to know how to take your mulch beds from dull and faded and just not looking very good like this to this without having to put new mulch down, let me show you. So yes, today we are going to be rejuvenating our mulch bed using Lawn Star Liquid Mulch Dye. I have this in black because I have black mulch. They also sell this in brown as well as red dye. So if you have one of those colors, you can pick this up um, and you can do this exact same thing that I'm going to be showing you. All right, so before we get to our application, I wanna talk about this bottle just a little bit. This is a 32 ounce bottle and it covers 2,500 square feet of the mulch. And so you need to measure length times width just like you would your lawn. Um, you don't have to get an exact measurement, just get a rough. This bottle recommends for not so faded mulch, you do two to four ounces of this product per one gallon. And you can just use this regular old pump up garden sprayer. This is cheap, I think I paid four bucks for this. So two to four ounces for not so faded mulch, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the four ounce. Um, and then you can do upwards of six ounces for mulch that is really, really faded. So what I recommend is if you don't know how bad your mulch is or how much you need, just start with a small amount, test an area. If you need more, just keep adding more until you get to the amount that you need. Also, the mulch should be dry prior to application of this. You do not want to spray this on wet mulch. You also do not want to spray this if it's going to rain within the next two to three hours after applying this. This is pet and kid safe after it dries. Again, it takes about two to three hours for this stuff to dry. Um, so do not let your kids or your pets or anybody walk on this stuff before it is dry because then they'll track it all through your house. Also, this stuff is kind of like the blue dye that can get everywhere, and so make sure you're wearing pants so you don't get it on your legs. Maybe some boots would be a good idea, and then make sure you wear your gloves because you don't want to get this stuff on your hands and then have to try to get it off because it's just a pain. Smell test. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I am using this little look at look at this thing, little baby cup, little baby measuring cup, and I am just going to measure out my four ounces. Waha! To dump that in there. I'm just going to. your uh, little gizmo here is doesn't get stuck because mine I pushed it in it got stuck on jet and now I've got dye everywhere so I'm gonna spray this off and show you just how you can get this stuff off look at this One more thing I do want to mention is that this stuff right here can stain your concrete, uh, your brickwork, um, anything that you have around your mulch bed. If you have stuff like that that you don't want to get this dye on, um, it recommends just spraying water on the things right there so it's wet. And then if there is overspray and the mulch dye does get on it, you can just spray it off real quick and it should come off. If it does not, or you do not do this step because you don't think you're going to overspray, okay. Uh, and you do overspray, all you have to do, warm water, uh, warm soapy water and a stiff bristle brush, 
just scrub it should come right off it's just like liquid iron so um, with that let's get to our application This is a really cool product. I think it did a really good job. Um, if you do this correctly and use the correct amount and you go over it twice, so you apply, you wait two to three hours for it to dry, you apply it again, um, it should last upwards of 180 days. So that's really, really cool. I didn't even use a half a gallon um, with my first application. So really four ounces of the product to cover my mulch bed here. Um, and so the bottle should last a long time. So for the price point, um, comparing it to redoing your mulch, um, the time, the effort, and the price of doing all that, I think this is a really good option. All right, so there you have it. That is how to rejuvenate your mulch bed in no time at all. I think it took me three minutes to do that. So there is the before very dull um, I'll get a close-up here in a minute I didn't do this side just so I could show you and there is the after looks so good super fresh so if you are somebody who likes to mulch in the spring and then again in the fall just because you want the fresh color this product right here would be perfect for you because you don't need to kill yourself you don't need to spend a ton of money on mulch um, just get this bottle it's super easy super quick um, and it works really, really well. This looks so good, uh, so much better than it did. So all you need to remember, two to three hours of dry time. If it gets on your sidewalks or something, spray it off immediately. If you can't get to it, um, warm soapy water and a stiff bristle brush. After you wet it down, here's my stains right here. All you're gonna do, take your little bucket, don dish soap and warm water, scrubber, Rub it down. Do it. Spray it off. You're good to go. What's up? Wanted to give you a quick update. It is actually raining right now. This is the second time it's rained since I did the mulch dye. And as you can see, color is still holding strong. 